ABC News. Since the announcement of Mrs. Bush's condition yesterday, a national debate has surfaced over what it means to stop fighting a terminal condition, specifically the difference between palliative care and hospice care. To help explain the difference, SSM Health St. Louis University Hospital's Jennifer Johnson joins us now in studio. Jennifer, thanks so much for being here. So there seems to be a lot of confusion about some of these terms. Can you define palliative care and hospice care, and what's the difference between the two? Sure. This is a question I get a lot, and I think the easiest way to kind of understand it is palliative is kind of the generalized kind of an umbrella term. Uh, hospice falls under or would be one of those spokes kind of of what palliative care does. Palliative care is a medical specialty that can be given um, in conjunction with curative treatments, anything um, that is still... Well, someone that has a life-limiting illness, whereas hospice is usually reserved for the last six months or so of life. Um, and so those are kind of the two big main differences. Um, we can do in palliative, as a palliative care um, provider, we do help with hospice things, but we also can be help symptom management anywhere in the continuum. So you're treating symptoms, but maybe not aggressively going after the source of the illness? Yeah, we kind of, in palliative, we kind of work in conjunction with the primary uh, teams, or say uh, if it's cancer oncology, or in, in Mrs. Bush's case, uh, you know, it's a heart failure, I believe, and some COPD. So we would be helping with symptom management and kind of along the journey um, and preparing them for when the end does come um, and just uh, providing them extra support. How does a patient or family decide to pursue palliative care? How do you make that decision? Yeah, it's it's um, it, it's tough, and a lot of people think it is giving up. A lot of, you get a, a lot of people think, well, I don't want to. I'm not ready for that or anything like that. And really, the focus is is to focus on the symptoms, look at the whole person, and they can be suffering not just from physical pain but emotional, spiritual. So we help with those kinds of things, and we really take in. It's like patient and family centered care. So really, um, providing the patient with the information that's going with their disease condition as well as their family. So it seems that there has been a bit of a de debate that sprung up around this. So why the differing viewpoints? Is there some kind of negativity surrounding maybe not pursuing aggressive medical treatment? Yeah, in some, it, it very different, and families get very emotional. Uh, pay, obviously, this is a very trying time, and, and, and they feel like something's maybe being withheld, and really the goal is, is not withholding anything. It's just a different focus of care. So the focus becomes comfort. We're still treating medically things. You're just not maybe uh, getting the aggressive, you know, in the hospital, getting hooked up to machines and those kinds of things. And so um, there's no right or wrong answer. That's the big thing. And, and all people do it differently. But um, I think that's the biggest thing. People just mm -hmm. feel like they're giving up on their family or they're withholding something. And really the fo it is giving them that quality and comfort. Mm -hmm. so. And Mrs. Bush has sparked an important conversation, so we wish her well. And thank you so much for coming down no and explaining this to us. We really appreciate it. No. Coming up